Hey guys, it's Wednesday morning here in the Philippines, so it is time for us to do our more exclusive premium unboxing. And finally, we're getting around to those Shuko Mercedes Unimogs I've been promising for the past couple of weeks. Finally got the fire department one in that I was waiting for, because uh, I wanted to do them together. I have their new model kit, which is pretty cool. We'll go ahead and bring it out first. So, love the color on this, like that maroon, burgundy color, however you want to call it. Um, and it's a model kit. They also offer, I think, a Porsche, like 356 or something like that. Uh, and maybe a Volkswagen Beetle in the model kits. And I thought it was really cool to get this uh, kit here. Actually, when I ordered it, I thought it was already an assembled Unimog because the place that I ordered from always displays the die cast out of the package as their sell piece, their show piece, and their ad. So I thought this was basically going to be like the fire department one, like this in the window box, or maybe even the Miho exclusive in the like blister style clamshell package. But uh, it wasn't. It came like this, and I never knew they were making model kits. And then I got on Google and looked it up and found these. Um, and the way it looks, they're relatively new. This is a new thing uh, for them, I guess. And I remember these back in, like, the early 2000s with Ertl, maybe even the late 90s with the Ertl American Muscle model kits, and then... When Johnny Lightning merged with RC2, then Johnny Lightning started making them. Then they disappeared for a few years. Then M2 started making model kits that come with the lift and such. Uh, so uh, the German company, Shuko, started to take this initiative too and make some model kits. So the Unimog, I've been wanting to add a couple to my truck collection anyways. And the Shukos are really, really nice. Um, and the fire department one, I was debating whether or not to get it before because I just wanted a stock one. And then finally I was able to get this stock model kit. So then I got the fire department one. So anyways, let's get him out and assemble him together. So this looks like a relatively simple kit to put together. Um, only, I think, three or four screws involved. So, basically, here's your directions. One sheet, not so intense. You got your cab, your bed, and then your canopy. Like, I don't know, it's not a tonneau cover. It's more like a tent cover canopy, I will call it. Your front fenders and your chassis, and then three screws, and that is it. Uh, it even the axles, the wheels, and tires are already assembled, which I kind of appreciate that because a lot of times when I try to assemble the M2s, tires don't go on so good, and then the axles sometimes bend or crack the wheel. So this is kind of nice that they assembled the wheel and axle and tire all together, and it's already on the chassis. So still fun because you get to assemble it, but not so intense that you bend stuff and break stuff. So they even give you the screwdriver like most of the other manufacturers do. As you see, it's there at the top and or at the bottom, depending on how you look at this. And I guess it would be on the bottom because the cap is upside down. So anyways, there you go. Your three screws and then trying to see if they give you an extra screw, which I think they do. Yeah, there's four screws in there. And I'm just seeing that we need three. So they're uh, assuming that they're, everyone's clumsy like myself and we'll drop one and lose it. So great that they give us an extra one. So this has just your clear plastic top over this gray tray. If I can get this off here. There we go. So... Kind of has that vacuum sill to it, so you have to kind of work both ends up. So, anyways, there is our cab, which is nicely detailed. We'll go ahead and look at the pieces singly because you can see all the detail, like the back windows, the trim around the windows. Looks really good. Your side mirrors, and then your marker lights, headlights the Merc emblem 
in the grill and on the hood and the Unimog emblem on the hood. The wipers are etched into the windshield. Left hand drive. Looks really nice. And then your interior well, obviously is already in there. Then we have the bed. Which is nicely done too. Nice detailed slats in the bed floor. And all the body lines seem to be there. I'm not a big critic on Unimog, so I don't know all the lines that should be there, but this looks pretty accurate from the pictures I've seen of them. I just know it's one of the most versatile, like, off-road vehicles in the world, so that's why I had to get one for my collection. So, very nice chassis, color-matched wheels with detailed lug nuts, little axle center, then they even give you the spare. And it's rubber, too. That's cool. Then this is die-cast, detailed exhaust, and slightly detailed differentials. And the exhaust, it's plastic, so it is a separate piece. So multi-piece chassis. The rear fenders are already on. You just have to assemble the front fenders. And... They give you, let's see here, I guess the lights on these fenders, I'm taking it, that's what those are. Probably should be pointed toward the front, but we'll find out here. Yeah, it seems to lock in there best like that. So, anyways, and see if that's what the directions show. I think so. Can't really see them, but I'm just guessing it fits that way. I don't think it will fit the other way. And actually, let's try it just so we can kind of rest those assumptions that it may not work the other way. And it does not work the other way. It will not lock into place. So, I actually think one of the nipples is bigger than the other because it slides down nicely there and the other doesn't want to slide down at all so there we are and then as we see on the bottom of the bed you have this nipple here that sticks out and I guess it goes in this hole here so that makes it a little easy to know which way the bed's going to go at least I think yeah there we go kind of locks down in there then the cab well it's kind of got two revisions in here but the cab goes basically like so and there you go so let's try not to drop the cab and as you can see the screw will go just like so and then we take our screwdriver out and trying to keep that in focus for you guys while I try to assemble this. It seems like the paint is gummed up the hole a little bit, but it's still not cross threading. That's a plus. So, and then the bed seems to be locked in place decently um, for right now I would say and now let me try to point this up a little bit because I keep holding it up higher than the camera guys so anyways well we kind of get the idea here how it's supposed to go together so I'm going to take Actually, probably it would be better to edit this, but I'm not going to do that. We're just going to assemble it like this for right now, <laughs> so that'll be good enough. Um, and then I will go ahead and button up the screws later, so we're not wasting 30 minutes while I try to finagle these little tiny screws in those little holes and keep dropping them. So, we will just assume that it's already assembled, 
which it pretty much is as you can see here it looks pretty good rolls good and the bed is on there good it's just that the cab is well optional at the moment <laughs> so you have the optional cab that comes on and off now the one thing that is optional which is pretty cool is this tent canopy tonneau cover thing uh which is really cool because that was the one thing that i was worried about on the fire department one that it would not come off but it does so that's the one thing cool about this is that you can put this on or leave it off and actually i think the one with the slot goes toward the front and there you go there is your canopy on this thing and it looks really good really dig these unimogs so hot wheels has one too and the one truck set um i forget what it's called but it's the one that has the 85 ford bronco that i unboxed a few months back that was the only one i grabbed from that set it also has a yellow like paramedic land rover defender 110 the panel style uh and then the 4x4 camaro that is the FNF casting, but they paint it up in, I think, like a red, white, and blue paint scheme, something like that. But there's a Unimog, a paramedic Unimog in that, which I may eventually get that one to kind of uh, go with these, especially since I got this fire department one, which we'll be unboxing now and taking a look at that one. Um, and beforehand, I was taking for granted and guessing that this means fire department in German, but I was confirmed this by one of my students from Germany. He told me that this means basically fire department in German, but I'm not going to try to pronounce it. I was having complications with it when I was in class with him, so I'll just leave that to the German people to pronounce it, and then I will just say this is fire department in German. Then that's good enough. That's all you guys need to know. It's already translated for you. So let's get him out and take a look at him. And this is pretty cool. I'll go over the box a little bit, but really nothing here that says anything. It just is in collector model, not the collector model, not suitable for children under 14 years. Contain small parts. Keep this address in case of need. And then it's in multiple languages. On the bottom, it's your Shuka licensing and then tells you that it is metal plus plastic parts and then above the UPC it tells you it is the Unimog U406 fire department and then it has all your Mercedes licensing and such and then your in cap says it, one edition 164th but in English it would be 164th edition then your Unimog U406 edition 164 edition 164 then Shuko top is just a window and so forth so let's get him out and take a look at him so do dig the cars in these window boxes because you can display them in the box and get them out of the box and it's not going to destroy the box i really dig that they don't put those uh circle stickers or tape on it to seal the box and this comes on a small small display stand more of like a clear piece of acrylic to keep it from the ripping off the cardboard. Instead of just having cardboard there, they put this piece of acrylic plastic so it doesn't easily rip the hole in the cardboard and they don't have to opt to put a whole big plastic display stand like M2 or somebody like this. So there you have it. There is an assembled, fully assembled Unimog fire department issue and this is pretty cool looking with the white bumper it's got the cab lights and so forth and maybe the bed is supposed to kind of be loose as you can see theirs is not perfect either and as you can see this pops off fairly easy that's why that cut is there to kind of release some of the suction when it is put on it comes off fairly easy so i think i like them better without the canopy tents on the back just dig the way that they look you got your tail lights there and all the details of the other one really not much of a difference 
I'm trying to pick this one up to do a comparison without dropping the cab, making it fall off. As you can see, my cab is kind of cocked a little bit there, but pretty cool. Prefer the stock one in maroon with the color matched wheels. If this one had red wheels, I would really dig it. I wish it did have the color matched wheels. There's a green one also that comes in the box, the windowed box. Uh, regular Shuko release that is green with red wheels. It looks pretty cool too. Uh, I would like to find that one to add to the collection because I actually dig these little trucks. They are pretty sweet. Um, so I will be getting more Shuko Unimogs. That is for sure. These are really cool. Uh, assembled or model kit. Now, uh, they do not have a Miho exclusive Unimog. As far as I know, I could not find one, but they do have a lot of other uh, Miho exclusives that come in the blister packs. That's usually the way you'll find the Shukos if they're like US releases in uh, like a blister pack. They're usually in collaboration with Miho. Uh, then your basic run straight from Shuko, I think is in the window boxes. And then you have these uh, assemble it yourself little model kits too. So those are pretty cool, but um, maybe in a week or two we'll be doing a Defender uh, 90, I would say it is, because it's a short wheelbase one, so I think that's the difference, the 110 is long wheelbase, and then the 90 is a short wheelbase two-door. I uh, would like to get one of them, there's a blacked out one with black wheels, all black trim, that's a Miho exclusive that looks pretty cool, maybe we'll get that in a couple weeks and unbox it together. Um, but yeah, this is my second Shuko unboxing. I did a Porsche 911, like a 78 or so Porsche 911, uh, a few months back. And it was a cool little car, um, but a little small. I don't know that most people say it was accurate, but I still feel it was slightly small. That's just my opinion. But I know Shuko claims to be spot on with 164 scale. Um, so, uh, but the Unimogs, though, seem to be pretty much spot on. They've always been a little bit smaller, but they do have that beefy chassis and lifted suspension, so they seem pretty accurate to me. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this, and um, I would highly recommend these. They're nice little vehicles, and the, the company does very nice detail work for the money. You can't really beat them. I think the... Fire department one here was equivalent to about 12 bucks, and then the assemble it yourself was actually a little more expensive. It was about 15 bucks, but for 15 between 10 and 15 bucks, say they're really not that bad. And I know some of the Miho exclusives you can get for like six or seven bucks, maybe eight bucks in the states. So. Uh, those are really a good deal. Even the Porsche, as I said, it was very nice, and it's not a bad buy for the seven or eight bucks. So, anyways, um, if you have not subscribed yet, please remember to do so. Please give me a thumbs up, share the video, tell your friends about my channel, and we will be back this weekend. Um, not sure what our free for all video will be for this weekend so it will kind of be a surprise for you guys so be sure to tune back in this weekend i will launch it either friday or saturday most likely friday evening uh est time eastern standard time so keep your eyes open and your notifications on for that guys thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of your week and i will see you this weekend